Hi there. Have you ever thought about the differences between strain energy, strain energy density, modulus of toughness, modulus of resilience, and stuff like that? You know, at first I'm gonna get started with strain energy and then the rest because rest, I mean strain energy density modulus of resilience and modulus of toughness are defined according to strain energy i've already given a short lecture concerning the strain energy you can find it over here however here also as a review i'm gonna define it fast you know if you load a rod with force f like this it will elongate logically and if i want to plot the force versus the displacement will be like this okay now the area under this curve which is the uh, load displacement curve is actually the strain energy and equals this integral u equals integral of f dx from zero till x so now let's talk about strain energy density suppose we have a piece of a thick rod and also a piece of a thin rod okay so we load both of them with an equal force both of them will present elongation yeah but their elongation will be equal what do you think logically not because our applied force is gonna distribute on the whole rod you know so for an equal force, larger rod will present a smaller displacement and as a result, a smaller strain energy. So consequently, the strain energy depends on the dimension of the material that you apply load on it. However, we have to somehow get rid of the effect of dimension. How then? we have to define another parameter which is so-called strain energy density it means strain energy per unit of volume so now let's do it the strain energy as we told equals the integral of the force dx now we're dividing both sides of this equation by the volume of the right okay strain energy which is denoted normally with capital u becomes strain energy density which is normally denoted with small u okay then the volume of this rod is cross section area times length right it means a times l okay force divided by area is gonna be stress and dx over l is gonna be the epsilon which is strain so this equation is the strain energy density of the rod so here as i told u is strain energy density in joule per cubic meter or newton meter per cubic meter then sigma is the stress in newton per square meter or pascal and epsilon is the strain in meter per meter or dimensionless okay now i'm sure you have already heard that dimension of the modulus of toughness as well as modulus of resilience are also joule per cubic meter like strain energy density so the question is what are differences between strain energy density modulus of toughness and modulus of resilience you know if we plot a typical stress strain curve for a steel for example in uh, like this in general form the area under this curve is called uh, strain energy density i mean it's equal with strain energy density but you can find the strain energy density like till here or here or here however the modulus of toughness and modulus of resilience are two specific specific values of the strain energy density the area under strain stress strain curve till only yield stress it means till elastic zone is the modulus of resilience it means 
this area yeah this area okay and the whole area under stress strain curve called modulus of toughness it means this area okay this so mathematically we could express the modulus of resilience with this integral mm -hmm. which gives us the gained energy by the material per unit of volume till yield point and mathematically we could express the modulus of toughness with this integral Mm -hmm. which gives us the gained energy by the material per unit of volume till rupture point okay so i hope you enjoyed this lecture subscribe for coming lectures stay tuned motivated and with me as well